Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be a collective haul. I have quite a few products to share with you, some new releases, some a little bit older releases. Um, got stuff from Sephora, from Ulta. That's mainly where it was from, and then some random things here and there. Um, if you guys like haul videos, please give this one a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And now let's go ahead and talk about all the makeup I picked up. Uh, I have it all in like one little box. I do have a couple things for the body. Um, like I picked up, uh, I guess I'll start with that body and hair. I picked up the Olaplex number three, uh, Duran Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I got two of these. I do really enjoy this product and it was half off. So I was like, okay, I really need to get that. And from Sephora, I had redeemed a, uh, some sort of, I, I want to say like rewards or maybe it was from the reward bazaar. Uh, but this is Kirstas Nutritive Magic Night Serum, or 8-Hour Magic Night Serum. I've used one of these deluxe size samples before and really, really liked it. So when I saw it on Sephora, like I, I really want to say it was the Rewards Bazaar. Um, I exchanged some points for that. Uh, I do also have my a birthday gift from Sephora for this year, which is not makeup, surprisingly. I got the hair set. This is the Vegamore. Um, what are these? These are the Grow Revitalizing Shampoo, Grow Revitalizing Conditioner, and a Hydrating 8-Hour Deep Moisture Repair Mask. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying these. I could always use travel sizes like this. And it's supposed to be repairing, um, help you grow your hair so it doesn't break and all of that. So I'm looking forward to actually trying this. I'll probably save it again for when I have to go on a trip or something. Um, I will take them um, and just pray to God that I do like them because then you're stuck on your own trip kind of thing. Uh, what other body products I have? I think the only other body products I have would be this guy. Um, I saw these randomly at Costco. Uh, and they reminded me quite a bit of the Sol de Janeiro, like the Boom Boom creams. Um, so I picked it up. They don't smell the same, but the texture, texture wise, they do feel really nice. Um, and I want to say it was pretty affordable. It wasn't that um, like a fraction of the rice, the price of Boom Boom creams. That's why I was like, oh, maybe they're dupes um, or alternatives. This one no they're, they're not they're they're not the same at all i wouldn't call these dupes at all um like i thought this would be for the normal boom boom cream and then the pink one i thought would be a dupe for the Sharosa 40 um but they're not anyway uh, i just want to let you know <laughs> i saw these i picked them up i'm still like the scents are still really nice and they feel really really nice so i'm still excited to have them um but if you were thinking about them or if you've seen because i've seen ads of these on uh, instagram i really thought that they would smell just like the boom boom but they don't okay uh now let's get into the makeup i have a lot a lot of lippies i have been feeling kind of a little bit of a rut with lip products um i haven't been wearing my bullet lipsticks or i've been only reaching for like glossy glowy kind of lip products so that's what i ended up purchasing quite a bit of Ooh, and I also have the Sephora um, Bold and Blushing, um, like the Sephora Favorites kit, which includes a couple lippies, but I'm going to open that separately just because like it has other stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the lippies. <laughs> I, I get to count how many I have in front of me, like lip products from a month and a half ago. 17. I have 17 other than the ones that are coming in the kit. Uh, we'll get started with, where do I want to get started? Okay. One of, one of the lippies that I am loving, like absolutely loving this product. This is the Lassie Lip Staining Lip Oil. And this is from Kofi. Um, some of these I already pulled into my stash to start playing with. And this is one that I've played with quite a bit. It, it was actually, I had to run downstairs before sitting down. To pick it up but it was living in my purse because i just love this thing i am gonna go ahead and pick up one more shade um this is in the shade eve eve right no rose eve is a different lip product 
uh, it's so pretty, it's so glossy on the lips, super thin, comfortable formula, doesn't feel like thick and heavy and cracky or any of that, it feels so good on the lips, and it's staining, so once that kind of like wears, um, wears down the shiny uh, finish, like if you're drinking water or any of that, you'll, you'll have a stain remaining. Easy to reapply. I don't feel like I need a mirror, so it's not like so precise. It's probably the shade that I picked up. Like I really don't feel like I need a mirror to apply it. I can apply it without a mirror. Um, really, really enjoying that one. Along the same lines, um, I have two products from Pura Pura. I actually got these from uh, Amazon. I had purchased my first Pura Pura lippy when I was in Japan, and I did not try it until I got home. And I just loved it. So I was looking for a couple more products um, and saw that Amazon had them. So I did. Uh, I got the shade. Let me tell you what this. These are the Ink Mood Glowy Tint. This is in the shade 22, which is Pink Prize. Same sort of, uh, like, same product, same concept. Uh, I find that the Kofi one is just a little bit more glossy, but they both feel very similar on the lips. And then they do stain. Um, so I have another one of those, the Pura Pura, and this is in the shade 12, which is warm Gorth. I don't know what that word is. Okay. So pretty. I'm really excited. Uh, I haven't played with this one yet. I haven't played with either of these Pura Pura, but I have, again, like I said earlier, I had them before I have one in my collection that I've used before, and I really liked it. Um, so these are like the staining kind of stuff. Uh, I do have a lot of um, lip balm, lip oil kind of products. I have, oh gosh, a, a lot. <laughs> oh man. All right, well, let's start. These are like the squeezy tubes. Let's talk about the squeezy tubes. I have two from Persona, one from Summer Friday, and one from Ole Henriksen. Uh, the Persona ones I picked up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, so they were half off. I really wanted the shade Pomegranate, but it was sold out. Uh, so the shades that I did get is Bubble and June. So I do want to do some swatches of these because I still have not done it. Bubble looked like it's a like a pink sort of color. I don't know how much it would translate on the lips like pink like that. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be super pigmented. Yeah, it's not super pink and I like applied a ton on my hand. It's not extremely pink like it's not. I, I don't think that it's bright pink um, as it kind of looks, you know, over here. Um, and then the shade June, which is kind of like a neutral shade. Um, hmm, do they have a scent? I feel like they do. Yeah, they kind of do. And then this is the shade June. Okay, the, the shade June has quite a bit more color to it than the shade Bubble did. Uh, maybe I'll feel differently on the lips, but there's the shade June. Yeah, the one uh, that I really, really wanted was the Palm Granite, and that sold out before I could place my order. So I got these two. Um, and then, like I said, I did get from Summer Friday uh, the shade Sugar, Pink Sugar. I just couldn't help myself. I kept going back and forth, back and forth. Do I need this? Do I need this? Do I need this? And the decision was that, yes, yes, I do. I do need it from Summer Fridays. So there's pink sugar down here. Mmm, it smells so good. It smells absolutely delicious. All right, and then from Ole Henriksen, I picked up the shade Strawberry Sorbet. Uh, I heard so many things about these, and I was like, I'm gonna give them a shot. We're gonna try them. Um, so, mm, smells really yummy too. Strawberry sorbet. Apparently, I needed all of the lip balms. I, I needed all of these lippies. Not. <laughs> um, 
let's move on to lip oils. I do have a couple lip oils as well. I got the uh, Jizu Honey Infused Lip Oil. This is in the shade Watermelon Sugar. Now they released a new shade or they are releasing a new shade for the holidays. I have one of these, which is like a, a deeper color, like the red one. I can't remember what it was called, um, what the shade is called. When I wanted to pick up one of these from Jizu, this is the one that I really wanted to pick up, but it was sold out, like it was sold out at the stores. So I ended up getting the reddish one. This is this is the uh, Jizu. It does have that honey smell. Um, I It has very, very fine little sparkles in it um, or shimmers in here. It looks so pretty. I'm looking forward to playing with this. I'll use it on my lips. Like it, yeah, like I said, I really wanted this shade um, and it was sold out. So I got the other one. I have no regrets. I do really like it too. It has a really nice um, like pinkish tint. Uh, another lip oil that I picked up is from Clarins. This is the lip comfort oil and I got the shade 02 Raspberry. Um, I probably the last person on earth to try this one and the Dior lip oil. So I finally picked it up. I haven't tried the Clarins, but I did try the Dior uh, lip glow oil. This is in the shade Cherry, shade 15. I did try it and I, I like, I get the hype. I really enjoy it. Um, it is a little bit, um, like it doesn't feel super thick on the list, but it is a little bit thicker, like a thicker oil. Here's extremely hydrating on the lips. Um, yeah, I, I'm really liking it. Is all I gotta say. Um, more lip oils. I have one from Milani. This is the Fruit Fetish, and this is in the shade 160 Lychee Nectar. I like I purchased it recently, um, and come to find out, I have the same shade in my collection. So. The duplicate but it's all right i do really like those and I, i'm happy to have it i do have a lip plumper and this is by lawless this is the forget the filler lip plumping line smoothing gloss and this is in the shade velvet i want to say i've used one of these before like in a mini or maybe like this shade uh, in particular in a mini it's it is a really pretty lip gloss and this is thick like the dior is not thick like this um you don't feel it kind of like heavy but it's very nourishing not like thin and immediately vanishes anyway the lawless i do really like these from lawless and i found that the shade this is they're comfortable they're super comfortable on the lips and the shade is easy to use so got more lippies you guys um i have from dior this is the dior addict lip maximizer and i got the shade 12 rosewood that's the lip gloss I have or the lip maximizer I have on today. Um, I'm loving it. I really like the very slight mintiness. I like that it's not like painfully plumping, but it just, sorry, it's a maximizer. It's not a plumper. Um, it has the glossiness to kind of give that fuller lip effect. Again, that's the one I'm wearing today. I do want to pick up the intense rosewood shade. Um, it looks really pretty online, so I'm considering that one. Uh, from Kiko Milano, I have another one of the 3D Hydra lip glosses, and this time I got the shade 32. <laughs> I'm addicted to these, you guys. I'm absolutely addicted. I I have like three or four in my shopping cart currently at Ulta. I'm not going to do it anytime soon, but man, these are so nice. They really are really pretty. Uh, there's the shade 32 so pretty so comfortable on the lips i love the packaging of them too it's like pretty it's sleek it's cute it's everything about it it's really nice and the formula is really really good um from physician's formula i picked up the diamond gloss this is just the clear lip gloss i don't know why i have like three or four of these but i felt like i really needed this one so i got it and then the last two lippies are a little bit more, like they have a little bit more color. One is by Lancome. This is the Idols Qualane 12 Butter Glow. And this is in the shade 36, Nude Now. So it's, a, you know, like a, a lippy balm. I want to say that these are supposed to be similar to the YSL. I feel like they kind of have the same formula. 
uh, they look, you know, sleekish like that. So I don't know if it's supposed to be deep in it or not. Uh, I've only used it once so far on my lids and it's pretty, it's really pretty. Um, again, reaching for these super easy lip products and I'm loving it. I'm loving the glossy lips. And then the last one is from our RMS and this is the legendary serum lipstick and this is in the shade E. Like now this is a little bit different than everything else. I feel like this is a little bit more matte. The formula is kind of like cool. Like it feels really cool, cold. Um, and it's so glidey. So, I mean, it looks gorgeous. I've used this one on my lips as well. And I really, really enjoyed it. The formula is very unique. The packaging is very unique. It twisted at the bottom. Um, it, I'm, I'm really loving it. These are like the nudes collection or the nudies that they just released. Wow, that's a lot of lippies. Moving along, I do have a couple foundations. I have three actually. I have the uh, Fenty Beauty Soft Lit Naturally Luminous Longwear Foundation. I have been playing with it and I'm really, really enjoying it. I got the shade 230. Uh, it's it, really beautiful on the skin. It looks really pretty even a couple hours later definitely dewy so if you're not uh, a big fan of like you know kind of towards the end of the day kind of needing to blot and stuff like that probably not the right product but i know this has been out for a while and it's kind of like old news but i was really interested in it um and then from about face i got two shades of their the performer foundation i got the shade uh lm2 olive and m1 neutral uh i have I have this product that's in a shade that's a little bit too light for me. And when it was half off at Ulta, I was like, okay, I need to find my perfect shade. So I got two more. Um, I most likely think that I'm going to need the olive one, LM2 olive, although I don't have any tan on now. So I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to have to play with them and see what I think, or I might be keeping just both of them kind of thing. Um, what else do I have? I got a couple um, bronzers. I do have one powder bronzer, and this is the Hermes uh, Healthy Glow Mineral Powder in the shade 03 Sahara. I used it today. Today was my first time using it, and oh my God, I really, really liked it. It blended into my skin like nothing. It was super easy to blend. I find that the shade is really, really nice. Um, looks really good on my skin tone. Like I said, I used it today. Oh, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm, I'm happy. This was a, a gift from my husband for my birthday. He kept asking me what I want, what I want. And you can see the three stains from the lip or from the lip stains. Um, so I, I was like, okay, this is, the, this is, this is what I want. Um, and then of course it's sold out at uh, Nordstrom. I'm pretty sure it's because Oh, Nikola Rose was raving about this product and everybody went out and bought it. So got it from Hermes themselves. Uh, but yeah, I'm so happy that he did get it for me. I was a little bit surprised. He's not the one to usually buy the expensive makeup. I do. Um, I have another bronzer and this is a cream bronzer. This is the melting bronzing and sculpting stick uh, by Too Faced. And this one is in the shade... What shade is it? Chocolate souffle. Uh, I used this one today as well as uh, as like a contouring um, stick. It's so creamy, so so smooth. I used it like this way, um, and then I a little bit of contouring before the powder, a very little bit. But this guy is so creamy, you guys. Like really, really creamy. Uh, oh, look, look, what? And then it blends. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't tell me it's another faulty packaging. Like the... Uh... Mm, I guess I'll got to be careful not to push it up too much. Or twist it up too much. Um, but yeah, the Makeup by Mario stick did that to me. Super creamy. Blends super easily. Like, so... What? How is that? It's... Yeah. And it's a great shade for like contouring bronzing. I haven't purchased something from Too Faced in such a long time. And I'm happy that it did not disappoint. 
uh, I do have a couple of blushes and yeah, just a couple of blushes and then we'll move on to the Sephora kit. From All May, I picked up the uh, Healthy Hue blush in the shade 100 Nearly Nude. I saw this on Amazon and I was like, hmm, this looks really pretty. You know, it was like a suggested to me kind of product. I fell for it. Oh, that looks really, really pretty. Really pretty. So looking forward to playing with that. Um, I also got from Bobbi Brown the uh, blush. They, they were half off at Ulta and like all, all the ones I was interested in sold out before I even woke up. So I ended up with a cream or I ended up picking a cream, not like ended with it, but the ones, the powders that I wanted were gone. And then it's one of the, pa the creams that I wanted. This is on the shade Pink Flame. Um, supposed to be a pot rouge for lips and cheeks okay um i felt like dipping into it feels like it's a little bit sticky like a little bit tacky but it actually is not that's i was like okay i'm happy with the shade <laughs> i'm pretty happy with the shade i could not decide on a shade for the life of me so i'm happy with the shade I'm looking forward to trying it. Um, I wonder if it's going to be too tacky. Like, how is it going to sit on top of other makeup or under other makeup? So we'll have to see how that goes. And then I have the, uh, I picked up the uh, House Labs blush stick in the shade. What is this one? This is the Color Fuse Glassy Blush Balm. And I got the shade Glassy Rosette. Um... I have the shade something rosette from their normal powder line. Where am I going to swatch? I guess I'm just going to have to swatch over here because all I can see is the stain. Um, do it on this arm. Not the best. Ooh, that's so pretty. I find that this color is gorgeous. Like so pretty. The glossiness that it has definitely more glossy than the uh the one by bobby brown um so this one is a lot more glossy and i think it's supposed to be but again i wonder with something like this like how's it gonna feel over makeup or under you know like powders and stuff like that um how's it gonna be with the amount of glossiness that it has don't know if it's okay the bobby brown still feels a bit tacky this one does too so curious Curious to know how they're going to be. And then I think this is my last blush. Um, no, I have a little mini blush. Uh, but from Hourglass, I picked up the Unreal Liquid Blush. And this is in the shade Whim. That's the blush I'm wearing today. One dot, I was able to do both cheeks. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so happy I went with this shade um, because I wasn't sure which one I was going to get. I was interested in a, like two of them. So is the one drop that is such a beautiful summer shade like so pretty oh that's pretty that's a healthy looking blush well i used this much dropped it on my hand blended it with a brush or picked it up with a brush and then i was able to do both cheeks so it doesn't it, it looks kind of scary but just remember that this transferred with a brush to the cheeks and then the other blush that i got is from uh, rms this is their birthday present thing and this is in the shade this is a cream blush lip to cheek and this is in the shade promise it's so cute it's so little um don't need a full another full cream blush but here it is it's over here really nice i haven't used their cream blushes before but i've used their uh cream uh, highlighters i really really enjoyed it but then it got really old I got a couple more products. I have two brow products. I picked up the uh, CoverGirl Clean Fresh Brow Liner. Uh, this is the Nano Pencil. One of my subscribers suggested this one. So I got it and I got the shade Soft Brown. Um, I actually ordered it from Amazon. It was a pretty good deal. And I have the ABH Brow Freeze Gel. 
I want to say Ulta. I don't know if this was on sale or what, but yeah, I got this baby. Uh, for powders, <laughs> I did it. I got the Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder and I got the Shape 30. I Again, that's another product that's been so talked about recently that I had to do it. I like that the fact that it comes with a puff. I do use these, um, not these exact ones, but I do use puffs and it's 30 grams in here. It's one fluid ounce. It's a ton of product. So just an FYI, this is a, a pretty good price for that much product. Um, finally, I have two more products to talk about. I have the uh, Moon Dust by Urban Decay. This is the um, cowboy, space cowboy uh, eyeshadow quad. I did use this one um, in my inner corner today. Um, I haven't used the rest on my eyes, but I cannot. I just so happy I picked this one up. Um, I hadn't used the uh, Urban Decay uh, Moon Dust uh, shades in quite some time. So I wasn't sure what I was going to find <laughs> or was I going to get, but I'm happy with it. I really am happy with it. I'm happy I picked it up. It was because it was a little bit of a, an impulse if I'm if I'm if I'm being truthful so there's the moon dust by urban decay and now lastly we have the Sephora favorites this is the bold and blushing um, kit I the bag is extremely cute um, out of all of the kits that they released this was the one that I was like I can see myself using all of these uh, so we've got one blush by Lawless that's full size. We got one blush by Vanessa Marix that's also full size. And then we have uh, a Refai uh, blush lip thing, also a full size. And then we have three minis. The first one of them is from Summer Friday, the Lip Butter Balm. And this is in the shade Iced Coffee. I cannot wait. And this is so cute. It says a mini, it's seven grams. Um, that's a ton of product. For example, the uh, Ole Henriksen is 12 mils. The Persona is also 12 mil. And then the full size from Summer Friday is 15 grams. So seven grams, I find that that's, I mean, that's a pretty good deal. Um, a good size. From Pat McGrath, we got a, a lip gloss and this is in the shade, oh my God. <laughs> um, Alien Angelic? I haven't, I don't have the shade before. I don't know that I've tried the shade before. Uh, okay, so it's got that shift that's kind of like purple to green. I'm not a big fan of shifting lip glosses like that, but we'll see how it goes. Like this color is not what I would want it to shift to. We'll see how it is on the lips. And then I got a Patrick Ta, or it came with a Patrick Ta plumping gloss, and this is in the shade 2CC's. Uh, I have one of these, a full size one of these, and I do really like it. It is pretty plumping, so I was happy to see a different shade in here. There's that. Really happy with these. Um, like maybe the Pat McGrath is my least favorite just because of the shift um, out of the lippies, but let's go ahead and talk about the other three from Refi. Uh, this is the lip and blush, and this is in the shade Wine. Um, mine came completely out of the packaging, like the, the cream stick was pulled out, like had fallen out of the tube. So I pushed it back in because I just did not want to deal with exchanging or any of that. Um, so there it is. This is the shade wine, a very appropriately named. I think I would use it more for cheeks than for lips, but Hey, having the option to use it both ways, it's pretty cool. And then from the Nesta Myricks, this is the Yummy Skin Blush, and this is in the shade Rosé and Brunch. I have one of these um, in a, like a, a little bit of an orangey shade, and I really like the formula. Like, I really, really like the formula. So this was one that I'm like, okay, I'm getting another shade. I'm getting some other products I know I would use. Um, so... <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy I purchased this kit. Uh, I'm going to be pissed if it doesn't sell out before the 20% 20, 20 off. Maybe I'll just buy one for a friend. And then finally, we've got Lawless. This is the Pinch My Cheeks Soft Blur Cream Blush, and this is in the shade Angel. 
I haven't heard the best reviews about these, but um, I'm curious. Mm, it's not a shade I would necessarily reach for. It's a little bit light, but it could surprise, surprise me on my cheeks. And this is it. This is everything I picked up in the, ma in the past August and we're what September 20 almost 20th so <laughs> almost in two months um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you guys in the next one bye